Almighty God, Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight, today in prayer and petition, Lord, knowing that you are the God who saves, who provides, who sustains. Lord God, we just thank you that uh, you have given us salvation, that even when we were in our sins, Lord, Christ died for us. And Lord God, Thank you for sending your Holy Spirit, that your Holy Spirit would work in our hearts, that we would be the chosen, Lord, that we would be those who would follow you so that we can share that good news of Jesus Christ with others. And so this morning, Lord God, we just come to you and petition, Lord, for the work and the ministry of your global mission. Lord God, I just uh, remember our partners, Kyria and Dean, Lord God, as they continue to preach the gospel, and as they continue to build relationships, Lord God, Lord, would your Holy Spirit open the hearts of those friendships that are developed, that people may come to know you. And Lord God, I just ask that you provide for their protection in a country where Christians are persecuted and life is dangerous. And Lord, I ask that you would sustain them, Lord God, as they are away from family and friends and a strange culture. And Lord God, I just lift up the Eglies too, Lord God, and thank you for the work that uh, they have done in France, Lord God, and where that church continues to grow. And for those that uh, are in the immigrant compounds, Lord God, on the island of Lesbos, Lord God, that uh, work that is continuing, Lord, those immigrants without a home, we pray for them, Lord God, that they would come to know you. Lord God, as the Eglis uh, spend time now uh, here at home resting and recuperating and rejuvenating, Lord God, uh, would you bless them with their support team, Lord God, and raise them up, Lord, to go where you would have them go next, Lord. Lord, I just uh, pray for Jeff and Jamie, Lord God, as they rest and as they uh, eagerly await uh, the opportunity to return to their ministry in India. Lord God, open those doors. Lord, I just pray for the people of India, Lord, a country where there are millions who do not know you, who badly need to know the one true God and his son, Jesus Christ, as Savior and Lord. And Lord God, I think of George Agoon, Lord God, as he uh, preaches the gospel even this morning in a dangerous, most dangerous spot in Nigeria. And Lord God, I just uh, pray for the safety of him and his family. I pray, pray for a blessing of the Holy Spirit that they may continue in courage and that they may continue uh, in boldness to speak your word. And that God, that the, uh, con the country of Nigeria, the northern territories, Lord, where Muslim people hold uh, great restraint on the Christians, Lord God, and Boko Haram, Lord God, a terrorist group, Lord, that you would touch even them through his work. And Lord God, I just uh, think of the people groups who do not have your word, Lord God. The 7,250 languages of the, of the world, where only 704 have Bibles in their own language, where only 1,550 have the New Testament in their language. Lord God, I just uh, thank you for the work of Wycliffe and other translators, Lord, as they uh, grow to know culture and language and uh, interpretation of your word so that they may provide this for a new people group to come to know you. And Lord God, I just, uh, I pray, Lord God, that uh, in this, this year of pandemic, Lord, where two million people have lost their lives across the world, Many of those people lost from your kingdom because there was not someone to send, because there was not someone willing to go, where there were not enough people to go and harvest the fields of white. Lord God, I think of the commission of Isaiah in chapter 6 of Isaiah, 
where God says to him, who will I send? Who will go? And Isaiah says, send me. Lord God, I just ask that your Holy Spirit come upon us, Lord God, that we would be a people that would say, send me. Lord God, even now, I just ask that your Holy Spirit would fall upon our hearts and that you would cut us, cut us deep, Lord, that individuals, that couples, that families, that teens, Lord, would answer that call and make a commitment, a life journey of sending and going where you would lead. And Lord God, for those here in the congregation and for those worshiping at home this morning, Lord God, I just ask that you would open our hearts, that we would be praying for the lost of this world, that we would be praying for those opportunities for us to seek those who do not know. And Lord God, I just ask that you would encourage us, that you would strengthen us to willingly surrender the good things of this life that we enjoy, that we might be able to financially support those missions for the lost of this world. Lord, allow us as a congregation to be an encourager, an encourager of mission and the preaching of your word. Lord God, we know that it's not about us, that you are the one that changes hearts. And so, Lord God, we just ask that your Holy Spirit, Lord, would fill us, knowing that uh, your, your word will not return to you void, that it would be like the rain and the snow which fall on the earth and bring bread. Lord God, send your spirit that it may fall fresh on us, that we too may see the bread of life and new people that have been lost. Lord Jesus, send us. Amen. Your name, your name is victory.